The seven frame plunger pump contains two sets of valves. The valves located on the front of the manifold are the inlet valves. The valves located on the top of the manifold are the discharge valves. Both the inlet and discharge valve assemblies are identical. Two valve assemblies are required to service the pump. To begin servicing the valves, remove the valve plugs using a 27 mm hex wrench. After removing the valve plugs, inspect the O-rings for cuts, nicks, or any damage. A new O-ring is included with the valve kit. To remove the valve assembly, use a needle nose pliers grasping the top of the spring retainer. Give a small twist while pulling away from the manifold to remove. If the spring retainer separates from the valve seat when removing, use a needle nose pliers and remove the spring and valve. To remove the valve seat, use a reverse pliers. Insert the contact surface of the reverse pliers to the inside of the valve seat. Use a twisting motion while pulling away from the manifold to remove. Before reinstalling the valve plug, using a small screwdriver or pick, replace the O-ring provided in the valve kit. To reassemble the valve assembly, place the valve seat on a flat surface with tapered surface facing up. Place valve onto valve seat with tapered surface facing down. Place the spring on the valve, followed by the spring retainer. Using a rubber hammer, lightly tap into place. Before reinstalling, lubricate O-ring and backup ring on valve assembly with liquid gasket. Next, insert valve assembly into manifold and press into place. Lubricate the O-ring and reinstall the valve plug. Torque to specification. If the valves are going to be reused, serviced, or inspected, the assembly can be dismantled. Start by inserting a flat tip screwdriver through the spring retainer just above the valve and twist to create a small gap between the valve retainer and valve seat. Place flat tip screwdriver in the gap and twist to completely separate. Next, inspect spring retainer for cracks, excessive wear, or damage. Inspect spring for proper tension or any damage. Inspect tapered surface of the valve for wear, pitting, or damage. Inspect tapered surface of valve seat for wear, pitting, or damage. Pitting on the valve seat or valve is an indication of cavitation. Inspect valve seat O-rings and backup rings for cuts or nicks. To reassemble the valve assembly, place the valve seat on a flat surface with tapered surface facing up. Place valve onto valve seat with tapered surface facing down. Place the spring on the valve, followed by the spring retainer. Using a rubber hammer, lightly tap into place. Before reinstalling, lubricate O-ring and backup ring on valve assembly with liquid gasket. Next, insert valve assembly into manifold and press into place. Lubricate the O-ring and reinstall the valve plug. Torque to specification.